If you look at the numbering on YouTube, in previous video, I crashed my system. I did delivery and deliberately I shut down the power to VirtualBox. And although there is a VM Linux, Linux, it's a partial one, right? So either it's not there and you see was not found. Or in my case, I just pressed the button at a certain moment in time, control R, and then VirtualBox reboots and basically we're stuck, right? Anything I press, there is always or no ways. There's nothing there. The only thing you can do is arch root or reinstall, obviously. Now, this is a virtual machine, so I'll better shut down. You go to the archlinks.org. Oops. You go to archlinks.org and you put in, you burn the ISO on your USB. In my case, I go to um, projects, projects, it's all Archlinux. Any of these guys, you learn at Archlinux and you apply your knowledge on any of these guys because it is all Archlinux. And then you go to this one, soon 0201, right? We open this one, we put it in the USB. Well, you put the USB in the real metal machine and then you start. Now in VirtualBox, I have to tell them, my dear friend, you need to boot up with the CD-ROM that I've just put in. This is not our, but Archlinux. So we're booting up on a system that's broken. You are in the live environment. You'll see the RAM copy later. And then we're basically working in volatile memory, right? We're working not on the hard disk, which is just waiting there for us to mount it. And to mount, well, means that we are going to make the hardware accessible to the software, basically, right? First of all, my keys. So figure out, that's the first thing you need to do, figure out what key board setting do you require on your part of the world. So this is Belgium Latin. So I have my Azerti key. That's the one we buy here at the store, unfortunately. And um, then it's LS block, right? List me the block devices. And we see two gigabyte for SDA one. We've increased our FAT32. And we need to mount the bigger bit, right? 30, 28.6, 30 gigabyte. So we are gonna mount a certain device called NMAE and such more and SDB and whatever, right? SA2 is our root, and that's what we're gonna mount in MNT. Done. So it says if it's too small, mount space dash dev dash SDA2 dash, uh, what am I saying? Slash MNT. So we've mounted a certain device there. We do again, and we need to do it again, right? For SDA1, because that's the boot. The boot is the problem. We need to mount, sorry, mount it inside as the one, yeah, mount, oh, I mount, yeah. So mount it inside boot EFI. That's where we mount the other bit, as the A1, FAT32, enter. Then we arch root, it's not that complicated, right? Then we mount it, where we go inside, we arch root, we, we becoming, yeah, uh, master user, root uh, account, whatever you want to call it, we're shooting inside a real machine. This is my machine, the hardware machine. We're out of the memory and we're onto the hard disk. That's broken. CD boot or LS boot as well. Let's see what happened to it. So, not enough info, right? Minus AL. So, zero. <laughs> VM Linux, Linux has zero as kilobytes, right? Or megabytes, or whatever. But there is nothing there. That's why it crashed. Okay, so you analyze what did you do. You type rip and you see, okay, last time I installed Linux headers and then totem, pl parser. What could 
be the reason that I'm now in a black screen. One of those, right? And there is a possibility to downgrade things. And there is a possibility to downgrade things with an A. So an E and an A, an A is from us, nobody else has it. An E is from anybody, any arch, okay? But in this case, all I need to do is make sure that the kernel is there. There is no kernel. So Linux and Linux headers are so always okay. If anything needs to be built, the Linux headers are there. Since we pulled the block, he still has a little file there. List me var lib pacman and then voila. So he has this file and he says as long as this file is there, pacman is busy. But no, no, we just interrupted. There was a power outage uh, and problems with the computer, whatever, right? And lock file is still there. We have a command that says unlock, which basically says remove that thing. Okay. And then we go. Aha. Uh -huh. So make sure you have internet and connections and so on. So you get the possibility to install it again. And we get issues. Good. Good, good. <laughs> How do we solve those issues? Dash dash override. And then anything. So this happens will these strange things that I never see <laughs> happen if you are not cautious if the yeah if somebody else pulls your electricity if you have power outage nah, it's not your mistake right but um, sometimes we pull a cord here and there under our desk and suddenly the pc is without power that's on you right you just press the power shutdown button of your laptop middle of an important installation that's on you so then it's also on you to fix it right and this is one of the solutions Reinstall is the other, and arch root is again this one, and we'll add it to the list. And there were already 13 videos about arch root, so we use playlists, and I'll put the playlist underneath. Yeah, 13. So this is number 14. This is how you fix things. And in previous video, if you look at the numbering, I have it open here. Let's see. That was 3836. 3836. There you get the, you see me make a uh, crashing operating system, right? And then we're gonna reboot. How do we get out of this? Exit. Right? Exit that easy well our truths were out and we're back at this live environment back in the memory and here we say just repo and then you keep your fingers crossed did I think it through were there enough things that I changed should I downgrade, downgrade more or, or is the config wrong or etc right or 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 it's a Sherlock Holmes things if you mess things up nobody knows but you basically all right that's me fixing the system again let's make this bigger where's my wallpaper i need a wallpaper so alt n is variety that's the one who is controlling everything all right and you can ask a next one and the next one you can add some other things bing photo of the day thank you Earth view, Google Earth view wallpapers, and they'll come in and then you update things. Well, there was again an update, I see. This um, gray background is normal. You see me open a terminal, right? He wants to give me an update via this tool. All good, but thank you. Update in your terminal and read the code. See the messages, look at the packages. I read through this list. So I know what's going to be changed on my system. And there's a new Linux kernel, right? That was our issue. I hope the Linux kernel will work. 
Yes, we can all hope that, right? So yes, go and install this thing. And off we go again, updating our system. All right, enjoy Linux, enjoy Arch Linux, enjoy Linux. Cheers.